Hey everyone. Okay, it's time for some upgrades on my trailer and my Husqvarna tractor. Primarily safety features such as lights. Most of the stuff in here, except for the two uh, hole saw bits, which are already mine, and I believe one of these wiring harnesses, I think this one right here, all came from Amazon. And the rest came from eBay. Whatever I couldn't get on Amazon, I got on eBay, which a lot of the stuff to a point would be available locally, but for a lot more. So I shopped on Amazon. I got taillights for my trailer, which these are originally going on the tractor, but they simply will not fit. I got a trailer harness. It's much heavier than I need, but I wanted a heavier cable for a few different reasons. I got, I believe this is a six pin connector, six or eight. Again, I got a heavier one and I got like a full size uh, trailer connector primarily because it has this plug right here to cap. I got a trailer wiring harness kit, which is 25 feet, which it might be long enough to do the actual entire trailer and wire the tractor for turn signals. Um, I'm also, I also picked up a secondary 25 foot cable. That This right here was $20 at Canadian Tire. That, this one here came from Amazon, but identical one at Canadian Tire was $20. I don't remember what I paid for it on Amazon, but um, I need it right now. Didn't want to have to order it back on Amazon. Also, if I don't need it, it's easier to return to Canadian Tire than the deal with Amazon. So, I don't even know how to return stuff on Amazon to begin with. So anyways, I got I got all that, and like I said, I got an extra 25 foot uh, cable if I need it. So I don't know how much I'm necessarily going to need on the tra on the trailer, and I don't know how much I'm going to need on the tractor. So on the tractor side, I have two ammo boxes. One will be mounted on this fender, the other one will be mounted on that fender. The turn signals and tail lights will be mounted to the ammo box. Then I have a brake light that I'm going to mount right here. It should be bright enough that it will be seen. It's unfortunate this tractor has this filler right here and I'm not getting rid of the filler up for obvious reasons. I wish it was a top fill, but it's a big GT. A lot of these GTs have the uh, rear fill like this. Anyways, um, so the tail lights will go on the ammo boxes on each fender. The uh, tr front turn signals will go in right in this area here. It's plastic luckily, so it'll be easy to uh, attach them. The turn signal switch I have, it's similar to the one on the golf cart. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of modifications right here on my steering column to put turn signals in. All this is just primarily for safety and to make it uh, better to drive this thing at night. And I do drive this on uh, major roads, so it's going to make it a little bit safer to drive it. So, And the trailer especially, make it safer uh, so cars can see me more. I have had a few close encounters, primarily it was all the, always the car's fault because they're all being idiots and they don't know what the slow moving vehicle sign means. So, anyways, um, so we're in mid-September, so it is getting darker earlier and I am out sometimes late at night. So, anyways, that's what I'm working on this weekend. Hopefully I can get at least all the lighting done and everything mounted. I don't know if I'll get all the uh, power feeds done on the tractor side. This tractor still does not charge, but I am looking into solutions to fix that problem as of right now. I can get a small mini size alternator similar to what that uh, Kubota diesel had on it. Uh, I can get an alternator similar to that and probably run it off of the belt right here. I pull some tension and put it right here sort of thing and it'd run at the engine speed. I just don't know if this engine runs at a high enough speed to charge a battery. Or another option is the 18 horse Kohler comes out and a much more modern Briggs Vanguard goes in. There's nothing wrong with this tractor besides that engine not charging. So we'll see. Um, there's one possible minor issue. That front spindle right there it's hard to say though. I think it's just uh, my eyes looking at it and it could be just the wheel bearings. So, um, first time driving this tractor after I bought it, uh, that tire did have uh, tread on it but I used this tractor as a uh, 
hauler more than I use it for an actual tractor. So it could just be the way I drive. But anyways, that's uh, what I'm working on this weekend. I'm going to do lights on the trailer and uh, possibly do some more wiring on the tractor side. We'll see. But uh, as I make some progress, I'll do videos. And as I mount lights, I'll probably do update videos. So I'll talk to you later. Please get rid of the neck like always and uh, please drum comment.